Hello everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to lay some bricks. Alright, so we're going to need some tools obviously to do some brick laying. This is going to be the bare minimum that you need to get us going. You need a tape, this is actually a special tape which has got different measurements on which will help you. I'll do, that. I'll do another video on that because it's, it's a real cool tape. But any other tape will do. We need a boat level, okay, that's about 250mm. This one is 600 or 610 mil, and this one is the main one you're going to use, which is a 1200 mil level. You've got your treble. This is a 11 inch Philadelphia pattern Marshall Town, and then this is a jointer. There's loads of different shapes, sizes of these jointers, but that one is the most common one, and that's the one that will get, get you going. Like we said in the first video, we've got our workstation set up here, we've got our mortar on our mortar board and our bricks either side of the mortarboard and we've got like a straight line. So we need to mark out where our wall's going now or where our build is going. So generally off this straight line, it's gonna be two foot or 600 mil. So we'll just mark 600 mil there and then just parallel with that. I mean, you can mark a few other bricks so you've got a nice parallel line. So parallel to that, we want our build. So our wall line. So just, just draw along your level and then you've got something to build to. You've got some visual. We walk in our walkway, we stay in this area, and then we're building here, and we've got access to our materials here. For instance, like, you just get your mortar, okay, and then that goes down here. Or, we're gonna turn around and lay this side. And get our bricks. Yeah, okay, butter that, and then, like so. Easy peasy. We're gonna start off by laying four bricks, and then we're going to eventually work it up to a pyramid. I don't know how far we're getting this one, but we'll try our best. For this particular demonstration, we're going to use this type of brick. It's just a standard 65 mil high, 215 mil, and then that's 102.5 mil wide. That's a standard brick in the UK. That's what we most commonly use on house builds. And you can see there, there's three big perforations, and then we've got eight small perforations. There's loads and loads of different kinds. Really? See, that's got perforations in. That is an engineering brick. That's a class A. That's got none in. Okay. This is a 75 mil. See, that's bigger. That's an imperial brick. And there's one here. Where is it now? Of course it's not there. Right, it's at back here. And then we have another common brick in the UK, which is a frog brick. <laughs> Seriously. And then, <laughs> I think all these perforations and frogs, I think they're all because of a reduction in weight and obviously delivery, it's gonna save on your delivery and with your taking materials out of the brick, you can make more bricks. So it's a no brainer, isn't it? I want you to think about some common sizes you're gonna hear all the time in brick laying. These are dead important to learn. So your four brick size is 890 mil. So we'll mark that out now. This is what we're gonna do. Tell you what, we'll go this side like this. Now on this particular tape, it's a brick mate, I really advise you to get this one because it's dead easy and it's dead good for learners. Especially when you're trying to work out what sizes are this and what sizes are that. So as you can see here, that's one brick and that's the joint. But I adv advise you, whenever you come to this side, the lazy, lazy side as I like to call it, always look across to what it actually is just to register it in your brain. So this, that's 215 mil is the brick size, with a joint it's 225. Okay, so moving on, we'll make our end point here, that's where our wall's gonna start, and then we're gonna go over to, we want four bricks, so that's four, and then of course we're looking across, that's 890, so we'll mark that. Obviously, because this is our end brick, we don't need a joint, we're just marking the end of the brick there, so four bricks is 890. What we can do as well, just to help us look where things are going, as we dry bond it, is we can measure the bricks as well. So that's one brick, which is 215 mil. So a joint, that's 10 mil. Two bricks, which is 440, 450 with a joint. And then a third brick is 665, that's right. And then a 10 mil joint. And then our last brick is just down, down, to, the, down to the, so there we have it. What you can do is dry bond it out, just give you an indication of where you're gonna go. I should quickly point out as well that in brick lane, bricks vary in size. And I'll tell you what, I could show you a quick, a quick example here. Uh, this is the wall I built 
last last year and you can see that well that brick's 215 mil look at this one here that's that's 210 virtually it just shows you that the varied size that's 215 that's 214 214 yeah so i mean they can vary from 210 210 mil to 215 and even bigger sometimes so you have to watch out for that so there we, are, we set up now right we can spread our first course now now this mix is actually a lamb lamb based mix so it, you can reuse this and i'm going to do another video on that basically it's just a four to one ratio four sand building sand and one lime hydrated lime we're going to use our technique which we worked on all right down the board like this but we're going to put into practice now this was the first lesson creating that Toblerone and then pushing our mortar out like that scraping it and collecting it and then just making a nice uniformed bed okay the gentle fur to put our brick on and that's what we're looking at there's two ways of laying a brick lane you can lay forwards or you can lay backwards and that's just the direction that you walk which is pretty self-explanatory what i would advise you to do when you're starting out is lay backwards when you're actually getting a mortar like this i want you to put your hand on your knee just to save on your back okay because you always want to support your back i'm going to lay our bed this side and as we did in our first video simple as that back and twist and then we're cutting the right side with our tip of our trowel this portion here because we can't get further okay i want to a nice Toblerone shape you move that across if it's not the best but we want to try and keep that line visible as well so that's why i'm just trying to get that back and then one thing i should have checked is if this floor is level and it's not too bad actually it does run down a little bit that way but we're okay because you've got to think about that because when you're gauging off that floor you're just basically transferring the level of this of this floor at a different height to a different height you know so that's all gauging is transferring the level line up to a different height keep it simple all right so we've got a Toblerone let's have a look is it any good that Toblerone would you eat it no I wouldn't it's minging that right so then we can fur our bed remember parallel a uh, tilt our lift is about 35 30 degrees we're parallel and then we're at 45 and then we're going down the line of the Toblerone with the tip of our trowel with a gentle fur here we go so there we go Right, so we want to try and get to the end of uh, where our mark is, so just cut that and take that off. Just to give us an idea, that's all. Where's our next one? Can I see it? There it is. When we're picking a brick up, we always want our thumb on the face side and we want to give it a good check. As you can see, that's massive chip in it, so we're not going to use that because that will make our jointing look rubbish. Do not put chip bricks in, rule number one. That's okay. So when you pick it up, just naturally holding it in your hand like that. You've got your trowel naturally, arms hanging like that. And you just It's just a natural way to pick it up, isn't it? Natural way to pick up your trowel, natural way to pick up a brick. I've got three fingers on the back and the index finger on there. I mean, it's up to you, you, you can pick it up like that, but I just think I'm more control if I've got a finger on the top, the three at the back. Just more manoeuvrability. All right, so now we're going to butter a brick, guys. Okay. The main goal of buttering a brick is to get a full joint. That's all it is, all right? There's not any voids in it. When you're taking some mortar, you need to flick your trowel like that. So there's a gap there, and when you come down, you, your hand just hits, see it? There's a gap, and it hits you, your palm of your hand. That's what a flick is like. That's how you do it. So you've got to put it away, then hold it straight. There's a little tiny separation. The separate hits it. So that's what a flick is. You know what I mean? You just can't really see it in fast speed. Bit of mortar on tip of your trowel, couple of flicks, all right? So you can't, so it doesn't come off like that. You don't want it dropping off. 
and you want it in that top portion, top third or whatever. You don't want too much on that's too much and on the flip side that's too little. All right, you want it in between. You'll, you'll find the right amount in time. The way I do it, okay, is it's like um, you've got opposite actions happening. You've got opposite forces going. To help you learn better, it's not as simple as you're just going down and keeping your trowel at uh, the same angle like that. There's a bit of a twist in it too. You're putting it on with that edge, if you know what I mean, to like push it onto the blade. So you can use opposite actions like that. You know what I mean? And then an opposite way is you're up like that. Okay, so you've got that first base coat on, if you will. You've got a brick and a trowel of mortar. So we're going to go down first, down, up, and then what you can do with this is you can you can twist your brick and then pull your trowel in at the same time. That's going to help you, okay? Because we don't want we don't want it too shallow when you when you're buffering this side like that. Because when we push it together, we're going to be left with voids and gaps to fill. So again. So we've got a down and up, down, up, and then we've got some left on our trowel like this. So the right side you're pulling your brick in, okay, and basically you're going from the bottom of the brick to the top, but you're going from the heel to the toe, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's not just straight back, it's up, you know what I mean? Like that. And then the same for that, you could virtually just turn your hand with that, you see, but the same action with that. You're going from, sorry, toe to heel on there. Quite complex actually, but down, up, pull them in, your arms in, right side, left side. It's not static. This hand is not static and you're not like doing that. They're both moving at the same time, working together. So, well, it's a nice full joint. When that's pushed together, Right, you want that nice and bonny, so when you cut that off, it's nice and full. You don't want any voids in there. So, down, up, right side, left side. Okay, I'm going to push up against the brick. That's what we want. So it's nice and full. There's loads of different ways you can do it. You can find out how you want to do it in your own time or own way, but that's how I would. We're going to lay backwards and we're checking our brick. Okay, that's good. So we can lay our first brick. Now when we're pushing our first brick down, press with our fingers or our palm. What I do is I flip my trowel and then I want to keep my eye on that line, okay, because we're laying to that line as well. So as I'm pushing down, up, a couple of wiggles. Okay, and we're keeping in line with that. We're looking for a 10 mil bed. All right, and if you do need to tap it down, use the bottom of your trowel. But whatever you tap there, tap over here, just to even it out. We've got our mat there. And our mat there. That's what we want. Right, what you can do then, okay, when you think it's okay. Check that, that's 76, so it just needs to go down a bit. Get your boat level and check the length of your brick. Always put the boat level in the centre of the brick. And you can see that's running down a little bit, so we need to put, just stabilise it with our two fingers, one on the back if you need, and then just hit the level in the centre. A couple of times until that bubble's in the middle. And that's, that's champion that. You want to check the width as well to see if it's tipping or tilting. You can see there, it just needs to go down a little bit at the back. So again, a bit of support, a couple of taps. That's it, that's our, that's our first brick set, belted. You wanna make sure that keeps clean as well. There we go, so we know that's set now, they're perfect. Right, next brick now, so. Okay, now we wanna push that onto the, okay, so we might have to hold with our trowel and just support that brick because we need a bit of pressure going into there. When we're pushing our brick down as well, massive advice for you here is, in brick laying you always want to work to what you've previously laid. So we've set that perfect so we know that's right. So what we can do now is use these lines of this brick, which we know is perfect, to match them up with these as well. These are called the arises where it's just the, it's the junction where two faces meet, basically. You know, and that forms a share of Paris. 
So we'll match this Aris up with that one, and then we'll imagine a straight line going straight through there, and we'll match that with this top one. But not pushing down too much or else we'll have to relay it. So we're pushing in there. Give it a couple of wiggles and then push it into place. Now when you're pushing down, always be checking as well. Keep cutting as you as you go, just to keep keep uh, an eye on your lines, okay? And we can see the, that, he's going down a bit. Keep cutting, cutting. That's pretty much well matched up, but that needs to go down a little bit. Okay, I'm all right there, that's okay. And then I'm just checking my face line again, where that pencil line was, which needs to come out a little bit. All right, so there we go. Now what I can do is I can get my shorter level, my 610, and then I can just work from that. Okay, now the pressure needs to be on the gauge brake, which is correct. Pressure the center of the brake, make sure they're all cleaned off. And when you clean your bricks off, make sure your trowel's diagonal, and not square, because if you square, you might take, you might get in that joint and take that brake, move it. So square, uh, so <laughs> 45 degree, cut, keep it clean, bottom of your level clean, blue wiggles, center of the brick, pressure on your gauge brick, tap down gently into place, and that's it. And then cutting the excess off to keep an eye on this pencil line again. Now what we can do now, got that sorted, get our tape and we can check if it's right. See there, just needs going in at a touch, because we're to the mill here, aren't we? So just give it a couple of taps that way, and we'll bang on there. That's our first two bricks laid. What we'll do next, get our next brick, our next brick. Same again, in the couple of wiggles if you need, until we're 10 mil, and then using that pressure. When you're moving your brick as well, you want to be going forwards and backwards, okay? Not like side to side, forwards and backwards. You see I've got my fingers here, just a bit of pressure there. Cutting to check on our joints and our lines. And then we're matching up that top arrest there. You see, so he's going down a bit more. And that's pretty square. You'll know the difference between a bad, badly laid brick and a, a good laid brick, because basically, look, if you can see that there, you can see that that's twisted. And that's not matching up, is it? All right, and you can see your face is hanging out as well. So match that arris up. Always keep everything clean as well. And uh, always scrape your excess off and put it back on your board. So you can see this level now, we'll put that on there. We've, we've leveled these two, that's good. We need to match up that one now, so that's looking good. And then we'll scrape down the line, keep, keep that line in, in view. And then we're gonna need our longer level for the last one. We're gonna get our last brick, okay. Mortar, down, up, right, left. And then push it into place. Okay, so we want that wiggle there. And then we push it down evenly. Remember, we want that aris to match up with that aris. And we're looking down this line as well. This, this one, you see. Just to make things easier for you, we want to match this line with that line. So if you need to tap it in place, you can do, but... And then just checking your pencil line. Checking your top. You'll know when you, you're there. Right, now we're going to put our long level on now. Every time before you put your level on, clean it. Like that. Same with the bottom of your level, we want a good reading. Centre of the brick, we know all these three are in good shape, so pressure on the middle, two fingers, a couple of taps, a couple of taps that way as well, because it can come off there, your trowel. See? There we go. That's it, perfect. Right, now, that's good. Now what we're going to do next is range them in. So basically ranging in is just using point A and point B to create a straight line. It can be done with a level or a string line. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find my pencil line, which is here. That's right. The other one is here. That's good. Now let's put our level on it and range them in. So if you range that there, you can see that. There's a gap here, so we need to knock this, these two bricks out to the to the straight line of the level, and that will ensure that all these bricks are match, matched up and in line with each other. And there we have it. That's that's our first 
four bricks laid nice and bonny. Now, let's have a look to just check our brick length size. We should be, what should be, what should we be? We should be 890. And we are 895 there, so massive joint stew. So if you need to tighten up, all you need to do, you just pick this brick up and wiggle it down. All right, a bit like this. Couple of wiggles, match that iris up again. Scrape any excess off. Back on your board, same here. Couple of wiggles up and down, so it pushes it out. Match the iris up, scrape the excess off. Check your size again. We're 890 though, that's, that's belting. Clean your backs as well. You can just go over it if you want, because we've altered them a little bit. Couple of taps, that's nice and level. That's good. And then we're gonna range it in again. Towards the top of your brick so you can see your lines, your irises clearly. And there we have it. That's looking great, that. One last swipe. Ouch. And there you go. That is our first four bricks ever laid. Sweet.